Biology and Abbreviation Message Biology. Today our topic is about uh, file mechanodermata classification. Let's see if our session is started or not. And I am going to share this in our Telegram channel, Rajesh Biology. Yeah. Also. Yeah, Samia Armin, Masavir Fatima, Puja, Sheba Fatima, and Abdul Latif. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Is my voice clear? Yes, Biluk is Tayaba. Good morning. So, file a mechanodermata classification. Mechanodermata is a uh, Echinodermata have two subphylums. It consists of uh, two subphylums. They, they are Elithrojova and Palmatojova. In this class, I am going to explain about the subphylum Palmatojova only. Later, I will explain about Elithrojova. Today, I will complete this Elithrojova also. At any cost. Come to the Palmatojova. It has only one class. Subphylum Palmatojova have only one class. That is Crinoidea. Okay. So, of course, Elithrojova uh, consists of four classes. They are Asteroidea, Ophiroidea, Echinoidea, and Holothuroidea. These are the classes under subphylum Elithrojova. Today, I will complete the entire uh, syllabus uh, according to Animal Diversity 1 also. Okay, you can uh, prepare for the prefinal examination. So, it is about Palmatojova. Palmatojova animals, some are sessile, that means they are attached with the floor and some are free swimming animals. Some are free swimming and some are attached with the floor. And it includes sea lilies, just like uh, flowers, like this. Sea lilies is there. We commonly call these organisms as sea lilies and sea feathers. Sea feathers and sea lilies. Sea lilies are attached with the substratum at the floor. And it has both sea feathers and sea lilies. Both have arms, and that arms are biramous. The arms are biramous like this, and arms are biramous, and each arm have pinules. You may know uh, the word pinules. You may hear this word in botany. I think pinules. pinules in a word. In a uh, in a stem, they are known as pinna, with pinna on them. And each pinna have pinules like this, with pinules on them. So, e type of structure करोगे ना कन्फ्यूज़ नहीं होता. They have pinules. Is it clear? All right. And uh, both mouth and anus are present. On their oral surface. Oral surface don't enter both anus and mouth. Uh, there is no opposite direction. That low mainly pine or mouth to kind the anus is allowed. Both mouth and anus are present on the oral surface. Okay. And uh, here umbilical grooves are open type. Open type of umbilical grooves are present. And madreporosity is absent. So neometra. It is the feather star. It is free swimming. Crinoid it is, it is a crinoid and it is also a crinoid, it is, a, it has a stalk, it is known as a sea lily, a telocrinus, it is telocrinus and it is a neometra, they are crinoids, okay, so let's see some general characters of phylum palmatojova. They are sessile, attached to the substratum by long stalk. That is sea lily. You can observe here. There is a long stalk. With the help of long stalk, it can attach with the substratum. And some are free swimming. Feather stars. They are called feather stars. Neometra is the best example for feather star. And it shows uh, bioluminescence also. Okay. And mouth and anus are present on the upper surface. Oral surface only. Both are present on oral surface for example here 
it is the above surface is the oral surface and oral surface have uh, both mouth and anus madriporite is absent very very important madriporite is absent here we already know the word madriporite uh, echinoderms like starfishes have madriporite through which waters enter into the ring canal from the ring canal it separates into the vertical canals or radial canals and each radial canal supply the water into the tube feet actually madriporite is like this this type of madriporite is absent in phylum subphylum palmatozoa even though it is a echinodermata madriporite is absent very very important point it is ambulacral grooves are open grooves actually we already know the word groove groove means telugu lo gaadi antam uh, the the structure the depression between two fingers it is just like a groove this type of grooves are present and they are open type ambulacral grooves are open which are present in uh, arms and each arm is biramous it includes only one class that is crinoidea we are going to know about the crinoidea in next slide if it is clear yeah biology we biology hi and bhavani good morning good morning bhargavi so is there any doubt about uh, general characters of subphylum palmatozoa madriporite is absent and uh, some are uh, stalk some have stalk like structure uh, and some some are uh, free swimming organisms mouth and anus both are present on the oral surface yes pooja thank you it includes only one class that is crinoidea crinoidea uh, same because only one class both the characters are similar yeah, crinoidea have two types of organisms the organisms which have stalk are known as stalk organisms or sea lilies and uh, the organisms which don't have stalk which are free swimming are known as feather stars and feather stars arms are biramous and each arm have pinnules okay like this actually it is a larva doliola larva doliolaria this doliolaria larva is developed into this type of larva and uh, this radial larva observe carefully it is the larva and it develops into like this type of larva in this type of larva you can find biramous echinodermata character starfish like character five and each arm divided into like this so it is somewhat developed it is you can find this doliolaria larva is the bilaterally symmetrical it can divide into two equal halves bilaterally symmetrical but come to uh, some more developed larva it is pentamerous radial symmetry pentamerous radial symmetry so these organisms have a larval stages so indirect development and they show indirect development and external fertilization sexual reproduction okay and some more characters like excretory organs are now poorly developed okay bathycrinus bathycrinus is the best example for another sea lily the class includes the oldest and most primitive forms very oldest and primitive forms are under a class uh, crinoidea some are stalkless free free moving others are stalked we already discussed about this point also yes very very important is viscera is enclosed by a calcareous test called theca theca we already learned this uh, word theca in dentations thecodont dentation means what tooth are embedded in the sockets of the jawbone this jawbone is like a theca theca means a covering here calcareous test which covers the body so the calcareous test is known as theca okay arms are biramous and bear pinnules and help in food capture 
pin yours means we already know it is pin now uh, like this pin yours in botany also we use the word pin yours okay like this so here also pin yours are there the arm is like this and each have pin yours that's why this type of beautiful appearance uh, of the organism so here you can find uh, biramus arms actually five each arm is a uh, biramus so 10 arms are appear and each arm have pinules like structures like this that's why it is uh, so beautiful okay right mouth and anus present on the upper surface only oral surface umbilical grooves are open type and two feet do not bear suckers very very important actually starfishes have two feet and the two feet have suckers with the help of suckers it feed but here suckers are absent and two feet is present pinules help in the food capturing madriporite spines and pedicel area are so absent we already discussed about this point also Madriporat is absent, spines are absent, pedicel area also absent. These spines, madriporate, pedicel area, all are present in starfishes. Starfishes have what? A madriporate, outer external opening into which water enters. And uh, the echinoderm's skin is have spines. And in between the spines, some spines are modified into pedicel area like this four steps like structure pedicel area also but all these are absent in class crinoidea which is under subphylum palmatojova and which is under phylum echinodermata some attached to the substratum by sirri very very important sirri sirri is a cilia like structure uh, sirri is the structure hair like structure or cilia like structure uh, which help in the attachment or which help in the movement. Okay, Sirri. Yeah, good morning, Umarani. Development includes dolial area larva. So, automatically indirect development it is. The dolial area larva is developed into pentacrinoid. Very, very important. I just uh, show that larva in the uh, last slide. Dolial area, I am uh, showing again that larva. It is pentacrinoid. It is dolial area. In, in the stage of dolial area larva, it is bilateral symmetrical. When it undergo development, it is developed into pentacrinoid. One, two, three, four, five. Pentacrinoid, which is stalked. It is free. There is no stalk. It is bilateral symmetrical larva and the larva name is doliolaria. But uh, it undergo development, it is uh, developed into pentacrinoid larva which have five arms and a stalk also. Is it clear or is there any doubt? So if there is no doubts, I am going to conclude the class. Okay, within one or two hours afternoon session, I will complete the echinodermata remaining uh, classes also. After then, uh, uh, hemicord data, then we will uh, complete the entire annual diversity one. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Pooja. So, can I conclude the class now? Yeah, Masavir Fatima, thank you so much. Thanks to all. Shiva Fatima.